Greetings, dear brothers and sisters in science. I'm Pastor Platt with the Atheist Ministerium, and in this video, I'll be discussing the Atheist Creed. But first, what is a creed? A creed, which is also called a confession, symbol, or statement of faith, is a statement of the shared beliefs of a religious community in the form of a fixed formula summarizing core tenets. And the Atheist Creed goes like this. There is no God, nor human soul, so there will be no eternal life. Now what does this mean? Today mankind clearly understands that life spontaneously developed through a process known as abiogenesis. So there is no need to invoke a God into the equation. In addition, all life today shares a common origin. From that common origin, life evolved into the multitude and complexity that is witnessed today. So at what point in that evolution would an eternal soul evolve? And if an eternal soul did evolve, again, there would be no need for a God. And there would be no need for penance to obtain the eternity. But considering the fact that an eternal soul is generally rejected for all of life that we share a common origin with, then we must generally reject the notion of an eternal soul exclusive to mankind as a fiction developed by the primitive conscience of early man. After all, what is eternity? Eternity is an idealized society where people conform to the needs and expectations of the whole community. Now, we know nearly every species of life practices a set of social norms to one extent or another. And idealized community can therefore be imagined for every form of life, which is to say eternity would not be exclusive to man alone. But eternity is mathematically impractical. Since the soul would be a product of evolution, then the eternal society where all souls would go would quickly become overcrowded. And since social norms or domestication has evolved over time as well, then souls of contemporary life would be incompatible with the souls of earlier ages. In short, the notion of God is cons inconsistent with our current insights into the origins of life. The notion of an eternal soul is inconsistent with our modern understanding of evolution. And the notion of an eternity creates inconsistencies between incompatible social norms of various ages of mankind. So once again, there is no God nor human soul, so there will be no eternal life. So the question becomes, since the miracle of your existence is finite, what are you going to do with your days? Are you going to live your life to its fullest? Or will you squander your existence, toiling in servitude of another? Amen.